Thank you very much. No wonder our chairman is called Agro Ibeko. The only man, Nan Ojo, Ojo, Joya, Gatiena, Atlantic Ocean. Ase, Ase, Kuasia, Akuasia. Yada, we're going to be in a war. Ase, Gango, Vichi, Ase, Gango, Vichi, Ase, Gango, Vichi. I'm saying that you are a big business. I'm a big business. I'm a big business. i Three months ad hoc. I got the primary that produced him, the avoided ad initial. Then the Gagan Abga Abga were two chairmen, national chairman, chairman. Oh, when the Supreme Court had to follow our zombie victory, another group was sitting not up as Victor. So, anybody Victor produced, Gabeda, Undi ABC, I wouldn't die. How would that is to go house? In the different Abia and Nigerian politics. I am not a core politician. That's why I have a memorial because of my training. So, when I get out of the city, I'm going to go and 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 I'm going APC, you have the same problem how in Aruba State in 2019, whereby they couldn't produce any Guba uh, candidate. PDP is not going to have any Guba candidate. Some candidates in non Abuja, name a press conference. Some non uh, 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 I am free here. I am not born a new government has a blue coat in you. Maybe seven again at this old one. Come on, our incoming governor, our governor at the state. Come on, Yaga Shino by a big administration. But the Arata government house. Maki Hell is a rainbow. He is a hand down the river. But who are you to see the governor get a rainbow? Without wasting time, we pay for the Lambabu. The man we are waiting for. The man. Umba, umba, ha, ha, na ba, eke, umba, ufuri na ba, so anga, ha, me ba, ha, ha. Inge ba, ha, kezi, mana. We are inviting, please. We need your attention here. We are formally inviting Mr. Odyssey Ebitu Ukiwe, our Guba as well dance. Make some noise in the house. Make some noise. Make some noise. Make some noise in the house. Make some noise. Valerie.
and declare to contest for ADC Guba. Thank you all. The youngest governor, the youngest governor. ADC! Arise! ADC! Arise! ADC! Arise! Abia, Mamanu! Yes! You go, Mamanu! Yes! It's difficult. Everybody has ADC to you. Oh, yeah, go to the Akuba. It will be difficult, they will have to be listed. Let's talk to Man Manu. The incoming governor of Abia State, God's own state, and under ADC, we will return Abia to God. Let me, first of all, thank all of you for coming out here today. You have come from very, very far places to come and listen to me speak. But we're all here for the same reason. We're here because we are seeking a redemption for Abia State. We're here because we want that whatever happens in Abia State, our children and our grandchildren will not hold us accountable. Yes. They will turn around and say, at least daddy, you did it. Yes. Mommy, you did it. And that is why we are here, and thank you. It is not my character to castigate the other party and the leadership of Abia State so far. But it is also very difficult not to, because it is clear Unpaid workers, unpaid pensions, no roads, no schools, no health care, no jobs. So it is very easy for them to show us how bad they have done. So they have made the work easy for us. I remember when I was doing, hi. I remember when I was doing common entrance. And they will come and they will tell you the answers to the questions. And I was like, ah, but well, this answer is wrong. Because maybe they wanted some of us to fail. What I'm saying is, PDP and the leadership have given us Expo. Yes. We have seen what needs to be done for Abia State. Yes, and together, we will do it. Yes, There is no reason, no reason why a state like Abia State should be the way it is. Yes. Why? The human capital alone in Abia State is better than most states in Nigeria. Exactly. We are constantly producing the best students across every level of education in Nigeria. But we look at our state and our state does not represent the people. You look at Aba. You look at the oil and gas producing areas. You look at our vast agricultural opportunities. And you ask yourself, what is going on? But today, this very day, we're going to say no more questions. We are not going to ask them what is going on anymore. We're going to tell them, pack your load and go. That is why today we must all agree to work together for our great party, the African Democratic Congress. ADC! Arise! ADC! A party under the leadership of our state chairman, Mr. Don Norman Obina, Agu Beku, and his youthful ex co are determined to lead the transformation of Abia to a state that would work for everybody. The values, their belief in women and youth empowerment, and the timeless desire is why today I am declaring my ambition under this great party.
Indigo Nasi Agu Adamu Ewu. I am from the stock of leadership. It is ingrained in me. My father was governor at 37. And my mother has been his rock. She has been his strength beside him. That is why I am the most qualified candidate for Abia State. And I only have five major points. Economic and social infrastructure. Security, inclusive government, good governance, rule of law, and value system. And each one of these is very key for our development in Abia State. When we look at the infrastructure, the economic infrastructure, we need to build infrastructure that would allow the economy of Abia State to grow. We need to build social infrastructure that would empower our people and increase the value of human lives. We need hospitals. We need schools. We need roads. And we need to prepare Abia State so the industries will come. When I was much younger, we had golden gin then. I didn't drink it. We had RC Cola, Intersoft. We don't have them here anymore. We have the capacity to build. We have the capacity to build wealth for our people. We must not allow our leaders take this away from us. No. We must not leave it in the hands of these people who do not care about anybody apart from themselves. We must come out and look at our brothers and our sisters as who they are. Our brothers and our sisters. We must not look at them as Mr. Carlo or Mr. Unamdi or somebody down the road. We must be our brother and sister's keepers. Security is a big problem. But it's the problem that has come because of leadership. It is easy to tell a man that is hungry to hold a gun and go and do something wrong. To fight security, insecurity, what we would do is we would promote a government of equity and justice. Nobody would be above the law. If you want to be above the law, go outside Abia. When people commit a crime, irrespective of your economic status, you would face the law. We will empower our judiciary. We will empower our judiciary to be independent. So that if somebody calls this man and says you did something wrong, or by answer to judiciary. Our House of Assembly, I am glad we have an aspirant here. The House of Assembly is the most important part of my government. Because we will build infrastructure, we will build roads, we will build hospitals, we will build schools, we will, we will build industries. We will partner with different agencies, locally, internationally, and even with federal government. Abia State will be, I beg your government to look at us and say, I want to go there. But the House of Assembly is the most important part because they will pass the laws. They will agree to the policies that will govern the way we rule, the way we live. So that when somebody is doing something wrong, we as a people can hold the person accountable. This sounds very, very, very difficult, but it's very achievable. It's achievable with, first of all, the grace of God, and second of all, with good governance. 
With good governance, you have accountability, transparency, and participatory. Which means a decision on this street will not be made until people on this street have all voiced their concern and told us what they want. If the people on the street cannot decide, we will have to put it to a vote. But the reality is this. Every citizen or indigent of Abia State, every visitor of Abia State would participate in the way we would make Abia work. And we don't need everybody. We just need the majority. If six people are doing what is right, four people will fall in line. So today, we must all go out and encourage our people in our communities to join the ADC. Because the ADC is the party that stands for the people. We do not shout power to the people and take power from the people. We are here for the people and we are going to deliver Abia State back to the people. So my brothers and sisters, as we get ready to enter the full election season, let us be strong.